so happy for the lights. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hi. Welcome back to this, this month. This month. We'll get there. Uh, sure. Um. Yeah. Uh. This month is April. April. Yeah. So how has everybody been? You know, this month. Uh. I feel like so far it's a pretty tiring month. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, we get things done. Uh, yeah. Getting things done. All right. What about you, Gordon? How have you been this month? Uh, it's been, it's been good. Uh, had my birthday last week, Thursday. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Happy what birthday. You, what did you do for your birthday? Ooh. Uh, sit around, watch Supernatural, and eat some food. Some good food. <laughs> we had pistachio cake. Pistachio cake was good. Gordon's sister. Um, she's a good baker, not professional, but she makes some really good food. And she made a pistachio cake for Gernin because for Easter we had like pistachio bunt bread cake stuff, and then he's like, "I want a birthday cake like this." That was amazing. <laughs> so his sister tried to fulfill his wish, which was really good. It was oh, a really it, good cake. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Um. What has everyone been working on? Uh, as usual, I'm still writing some of my screenplay, short story, um, I feel like I'm making a bit of headway on that, watched a few master classes, which was pretty dope, um, yeah, uh, also, I am starting a new project with, uh, some friends, a music project, so that's gonna be fun. Cool beans. Th there might be a few other things, but, uh. Totally spacing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am working on my little mini April video, which should go live soon in May. And I'm also trying out again for that Al Sony Alpha Female Grant. Nice. Um, just typing it up and got to iron out some of the kinks in that thing. So chugging along on that one. And then... Any other projects? Just the continuous writing of scripts and stories. And my sim tubing. If you want to go watch that, you can probably link it in the cards wherever they appear. There. Thanks. No, they usually at the top. Oh, I'm also uh, currently working on a next month's uh, snoofu thing. Uh, something nice for you. It's, it's, we, we, we call it snoofu for short. Um... <laughs> But yeah, something nice for you series. So, and that's gonna feature uh, Seth Terrell, who's in a couple uh, projects, and he does a lot of cool things. <laughs> what about you, Grin? What have you been working on? Well, last month the comic contest I wanted to go into, uh, I didn't meet the deadline. I'm still working on that project, which I would like to continue still to put on my portfolio. But same time, this month I have been working on uh, one of my buddies' uh, commission for him, and I am just about done. There's a few more, few more parts I can just fix up for him, no problem. And currently now I am also working on our new stickers. Oh yes, for our upcoming stickers. Um, so we got a buy me a coffee account. The platforms like Patreon, it's just a lot less um, admin busy work on our end and you guys don't need to create your own account for the platform so it's easier for people to donate. Yeah, um, pretty exciting stuff. We're going to have a few things on there um, and it's a monthly thing that we're going to have kind of like a subscribers thing but not really because <laughs> we just said it's not subscription based. No, no, it's not. You don't have to create an account. You don't have to create an account, but you can subscribe. Yeah. You can donate monthly, whatever month you have enough monies to donate, or you can subscribe for the whole year. And subscribers, they get um, a sticker from our Casa Cheese sticker collection. And Gernon's been working on that, and he'll probably have a couple of sneak peeks up soon. And there'll be a new one every month. And any... Leftover stickers will be for sale on the platform. Yeah, and uh, you'll also uh, gain access to uh, a couple songs that didn't make the cut for uh, the Snoo Foo. 
series. Um, and yeah, it's going to be pretty cool with that as well. Yeah, and you can also get extra, um, not extra, what's it called? Sneak peek previews on some of our videos. They're um, like little member only premieres for mm-hmm. um so when we have some specialty videos going out like my one coming up that should be live in may when it's done subscribers will get a, a two-week sneak preview if they donate and then they'll go live later on we are happy accidents media production we make film music and art in northern arizona our mission is artists helping artists when you buy us a coffee we can put that money into projects that will help us live up to that mission Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So buy us a coffee, please. All right. So that brings us to this month's artist shout out. And this month we're going to be talking about a group of artisans. And those are soap artists. Soap artists. Soap artists. We've tried four different soaps companies. So this is why we feel confident about talking about these soap brands and companies. The first one is Mudhead Soaps. They have an eclectic amount of products. The first product that me and Grennan bought from them, and what actually motivated us to buy soap from them, was their frankincense. Frankenstein soap. So it looked really (laughs) cool. It was like this dark, muddy green color. It had Frankenstein on the logo, and it was around Halloween time. And we're like, let's buy it. And then we also bought the, um, the red clay. Red clay soap, that one feels really nice and smells really oh, good. That one smells very, very good. Very good? Very, very, very good. Very it's more of like a good. dirt good. It's not a berry good. <laughs> it's a dirt smell. Um, and they use handcrafted natural products with um, goat milk and essential oils. They also have more products than just soap. And they kind of brand themselves as a whole natural skincare line. So they have like lip balms and lotions and sugar scrubs. So you can check them out. They have a website you can buy stuff on and also, you know, the Facebook and Instagram that will all be linked in below. The the next one is Najoni Soap. Uh, The soap company is owned by uh, Camilla Begay. She's 12 years old and has two storefronts. One Mesa and one from in Farmington. Is it supposed to be 21 years old or 12? No, she's 12. She's 12? Yeah. Oh, wow. She's 12 years well, old. congratulations <laughs> on your own little uh, soap company. Um, Kelsey's little one loves black cherry soap. She says it smells like candy. And here are all the, uh, what do you call it? Social media stuff and... Links? Links and stuff. Zania Botanicals. And um, they are located in the Phoenix Mesa area. And in January, it's my birthday month, and I was trying to do the whole, you know, self-care, relaxing thing, so I decided to look for um, a spa day soap package, and I knew one of the owners of the soap company from NWEAZ, which is Native Women Entrepreneurs of Arizona, and so I messaged them, I was like, hey, do you guys have a spa thing? And they're like... What kind of scents do you want? What, you know, do you like? And they kept asking me all these nice little questions, and they helped me customize my own little package for a spa day, which was really nice because, you know, when you're like, oh, I just want something that smells nice, and like, but what do you want that smells nice? You know, because some people like sweet, some people like flowery, some people like more of the earthy scents. And their soap bombs, the, the rose ones, were really nice. They make my skin feel really nice and moist and moisturized and stuff. So they're, they're really good products. And um, so just the whole customer service and experience of um, customizing my own soap package and the products were really cool. Nice. Another soap company that we are also mentioning is Big Sky Soap. We have recently saw that their uh, TikTok videos have gone viral, which is pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> the Big Sky Soap is also a part of the Change Lab cohort that we're also a part of. They also have a uh, black charcoal soap that is um, unscented, which works great for people with um, sensitive skin. And it's really cool because I gave one of the little charcoal soaps to my cousin. She has really sensitive skin, and she was using it on her face and her arms when we were out for the weekend in the sunlight all day working and it didn't irritate her skin at all so it's pretty cool so if you have sensitive skin maybe that 
black charcoal soap is for you. Also, they had a cool little package deal going on at the beginning of April. And I don't think mom watches our videos. I don't think so. So that's what we got for Mother's Day <laughs> for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, if you guys are looking for a Mother's Day gift or and you have no idea, I can say that getting fancy smelling soaps and bath products is a good way to go. And if you know our mom, don't tell her we got her soap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, it's also, you know, supporting small businesses around Arizona, which is something we're really trying to push forward and you know soap artists sins is a thing you know if you look at some of these soaps they're really pretty and it takes a lot of work and a lot of layers to make some of the images they make on their soaps yep mm -hmm. all, right, all right and now it's time for everyone's probably most ignored section <laughs> the random, the random. <laughs> okay so our random today is me a coffee trivia Okay, so for you guys, question. The name cappuccino comes from? That sounds French. Is it one? No. Oh, are you going to give us the answer? I'll, 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 okay, so how this works is I'll, I'll write, I'll say the, the trivia. You ask the question. Ask the question or fill in the blank. And you guys have four answers to pick. Okay, so okay. it's multiple choice. Multiple, multiple choice. choice. Multiple choice. Okay, let's do this. And it's about coffee. Mm -hmm. The name Caffeine. cappuccino comes from one drinks resembles the brown coals worn by the capuchin monks, C capuchin. or two similarity in color of the cap capuchin monks. <laughs> Three the Italian uh, pacino, pacino meaning light brown one, or four the size of the cup in which it's commonly served. Uh, I'll go with Three. C. C. Three C. Okay, so they're both the same C. Okay, so the answer is one. Oh, it's A. <laughs> it's yeah, the it's monkey a. poop. <laughs> no, 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 the, the monk. The monk. Capuchin monks, or something like that. Oh, I thought he monks. was saying like the capuchin monkeys. No, <laughs> no, capuchin monks. <laughs> too early, too early on that one. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> That's not why it's cheating knowing stuff. No. <laughs> you know things, stop cheating. I know, I know which question you're thinking about. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I, I didn't read okay. the questions, I just printed it. Uh -huh. what, what, what's the second it. question? Okay, so the second one is Expresso literally, literally means A. Speed it up, 2. To go, 3. Forced out, or 4. Black and intense. It's 1. Espresso or Expresso? Espresso, sorry. Excuse me. Espresso literally means. I'm just going to go with four. A. Four. B. D. It's one. So one <laughs> and four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The answer is three. What? What's the difference? In Italian, the word espresso means something is forced out. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> French press, espresso. Out. Okay. Okay. Third question. Coffee was the first food to be, one, shipped to Europe, to the New World, two, freeze-dried, three, used in Aztec religious ceremonies, or four, roasted and grounded for drinking? Was first used for this thing? One of these? Three. Uh, Coffee was the first food to be one shipped from England, or from Europe, to the New World. Freeze dried, used in Aztec religious ceremonies, roasted and ground for drinking. Um, I'm gonna go with one. Go with three. One and three. Answer is two. Two. Coffee was the first food to be freeze dried. Okay, next question. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. Forty percent of the world's coffee is produced by one Africa, Brazil, Colombia, or Southeast Asia. I'm going with the uh, C. Columbia. I'm also Columbia. going with C. Columbia. But it could be one. The answer is... A. C? Is it C? Brazil. No. B, Brazil. B, Brazil. Produces 40% of the entire world's coffee supply. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of coffee. It's uh, a lot of coffee. I, I, <laughs> I figured it was Brazil because of some of the products I look at. They're all Brazil. Brazil. Oh, Folgers is Colombian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's what I 
Guys, why just okay. into? I think I knew co- coffee can grow in Africa naturally, but I didn't think they were a big mm-hmm. coffee export. Okay. Oh, okay. So, I know, like maybe a specialty coffee export. No. Okay, so this coffee is Kopi Luwak, the world's most expensive coffee, up to six hundred per pound. It is processed during a full moon, brewed only with solid gold pots. <sighs> Made from coffee beans eaten and then excreted by Sumatran wildcats. Or grown at a higher altitude than any other bean. It's I, three. It's C. I, like, I already know this one. <laughs> I, 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 people know this one, I think. It's I feel from like, that I feel movie, like... The Bucket List, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was one. <laughs> yeah, it's been poop. Yep, the answer is uh, Sumatran cats. Put them out. <laughs> <laughs> the fermenting process. <laughs> um, what's what's the next one? Okay. Next one is coffee beans grow on a low spreading vine, a bush, a tree, or the roots of a coffee plant. Three. Um, I go three as well. Three. Okay. So the answer is. Oh my goodness! There's some mud grape. On a bush. A uh, bush? A bush. Is it... So what number is that one? Two. Two. Two? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so uh, what's the next one? Next one? Most coffees are a blend of light and dark roasts, caffeine and essential oils, our uh, Arabic... I can't, I can't. Arabic? Arabic? Arabic. And robusta beans. Or... African and South American beans. Excuse me. I'm probably gonna go with one. Um, Light and dark roasts. Light and dark roasts. Okay. Same. Same? Okay. The answer is... Arabic. 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 The first answer. Arabic and... Or the the last answer. No? The third. Third. Okay. It says three. Arabic, yeah. Arabic and robust beans are the most common. Hmm. You need to go to the question. Okay, so fair. Okay. Java and Mocha are named after the huts. The plantation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the plantations where they've grown, the coffee grower who developed that variety, the predominant flowerings, or their ports of origin. Uh, I go with three. Also go with three. The predominant flavorings. Yeah. Okay. Answer is ports of origin. Ah. Uh-huh. Java is actually the name of an island off of Southeast Asia. And huh. Mocha derives I'm, from Mocha, Yemen. I've never heard of these places. <laughs> Why? Interesting. I've never Ooh. been a maps person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Next question. 16th century Muslim rulers banned coffee because of stimulating effects, gambling that took place in coffee houses, black market that sprang up the coffee trade, or Sophie mystics wanted who wanted coffee limited to spiritual ceremonies. Um, I'll go with number three. The three is the one with the illegal stuff, right? Or is uh, it black number market. two? No, the, the black market. Black market's number two? Uh, no, black market's so- number three. Gambling... There's number two. Okay, number three. I'll go with number two. Number two and three? Okay. Mm-hmm. The answer is... One. What? What's number one? Too stimulating. Oh. Coffee was banned for its unusual stimulating effects. Dang. <laughs> it's doing what it's supposed to do, so now we're going to ban it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I guess so. So, if people were caught breaking that law, they were punished to death. Death? Yep. <laughs> I was like, you're having Very a good time. Coffee, coffee. You know, <laughs> Coffee You're waking devil. yourself up. You want some death? <laughs> That'll wake you up. <laughs> you want some knife in your neck? <laughs> How about some knife in your neck? Okay, uh, what's the next question? Last question. Last question. How old is instant coffee? Is it 100 years, 150, 200, or 250? Uh, this is kind of weird because like 100 years ago, that was what? The 1920s? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm going to go with 150 years old. 150? Can I say 125? No. No? <laughs> I 
<laughs> like those people on the game show are like, I'm like five hundred. They're like four ninety nine. <laughs> you know, <laughs> get the closest without going over. All right, I guess I will go with a hundred years because I don't years? know how long ago freeze drying stuff was. I'm going it's with like a hundred and fifty. Or the age of instant coffee. Okay, yeah, so instant coffee. One fifty and one hundred. The answer is two hundred and fifty years old. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> How'd they do it? I need some coffee now. <laughs> How'd they do it? Not you don't have to answer that. But they uh, probably have the blurb. They had the little they had the little trivia answers here. Instant coffee made its debut in England that year. Seventeen seventy one. But it wasn't patent. In the United States until 1910. Wait, wait. Say that again. Instant but louder. coffee is almost 250 years old. Convenience was always a major necessity for coffee drinkers on the go. Even yes. in 1771, instant coffee made its debut in England that year, but wasn't patented uh, by the United States until 1910. So, instant coffee is five years older than the United States. Huh. Did you know Oreos? <laughs> the Oreo cookie brand is older than the state of Arizona? I did know that. Anyways. This has uh, been uh, this month. This month! This month. This month. Don't forget to check out our Buy Me a Coffee page. You know, even if you don't actually buy us a coffee, you can just look at it, see, check it out, see what's it. available for you. You know, if you if you like it, you know, buy us a coffee. If you don't, uh, share it. Yeah. Someone else might want to buy us a coffee. We like coffee. We don't know much about coffee. Hopefully, we know a little bit more. Mhm. Mm Hopefully, you know a little bit more. Um. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Ring that bell so you can get uh, more <laughs> notifications um, when we post more videos. Because we post every week. And, uh, yeah. Well, All right. Bye, guys. Well, see ya. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? You like the lights?